one of my favorite lakes of all time, Austin Lake, located in Portage, Michigan, pure Michigan fishing, just south of Kalamazoo. First fish, what do you know, on a tube. This was a singles tournament, Michiana Bass Anglers. I love fishing with these guys. They don't get to do it all that often, but it's a singles, and they're friendly, and they're fun. They tease me. I tease them back, of course. I've had success against them. The fog was really thick out there. So the guys, the tournament directors, made a good decision. They just they didn't worry about boat order. They just said, hey, it's no wake. It's no wake. Idle speed for the first half an hour of that tournament, which was the right decision to make for safety. Obviously not the size I'm looking for, but the keeper I got back there and this guy did the exact same thing. They bit it and came running at the boat. I guess they're swimming at the boat. Super fast. Usually that tells me there's competition for food and they eat it and run before someone else snatches it. But I haven't been able to back that up with anything yet. I've had one blow up on a pop bar. And you can see it's dead calm, and the fish missed it. So I don't think that fish was really, really eating it. I think it just attacked it, smacked it. Wasn't much of a, a bite. There's no way a fish wants a popper out here and misses it. So, it's interesting. Not sure what's going on yet, but we're hunting for fish. We'll figure it out. Being on Austin Lake, I always have high hopes. You know, I'm really pumped up. Even though I knew it had been a tough bite out there, for really two years, really the second season of Tough Bite. It was difficult getting keepers, and that's something I anticipated. surprise that I'm throwing this formula G32 from Extreme Bass Tackle because I throw it all over the place you've seen me on other videos throwing it because it works now the thing is though in Austin Lake is that they they eat a lot of perch out here and I don't think a lot of people recognize that and, and that's a pretty good resemblance of a perch scooting around on the bottom <laughs> So I had gotten two keepers throwing that tube, and then I went on to the next plan, which was to go fish docks. Austin Lake's docks are pretty much legendary. Largemouth get under there. And these were really perfect dock bite conditions. It was glassy calm, glassy calm, the sun, bluebird skies. Those fish really had nowhere to go except under the docks. There aren't any weeds.
Austin Lake is a big fish factory. I remember a couple years back, my good friend Steve Prang and I weighed in nearly 19 pounds in a tournament on July 4th weekend. All the boat driving with that kind of weight. And nowadays, oh man, the lake is in trouble. And I'm asking your opinion, what you think the problem is, if you're familiar with it. It receives the second most tournaments than any other lake in Michigan. The only lake in the state that receives more tournaments is Lake St. Clair. Is that the problem? Or is the problem the weed kills? I mean, there are some weeds, there is some grass out there. I found some there in tournament, man, not a lot. So what is it? Is it too much tournament pressure? Or is it weed kills? Both? What do you think? Put your comments down below. On this day, I didn't even catch a limit. I ended up with four fish that weighed six pounds even. Now I'm embarrassed by that? I don't know, should I be? Because I still finished third out of 20 some odd guys. What's that tell you about the bite out there? It's really sad. There's only one limit weighed, and they finished first place. Go figure. They had 11.7 pounds, I believe, or right around there. Second place didn't have a limit. They had four fish just like me, and they weighed 7.7. .7. I had four, and I was the only other guy to have four. So Austin Lake's in trouble. I'm not 100% sure why. I'd love to hear your feedback if you've got any ideas. Maybe you're a local, or maybe you just got an idea of the scenario that I, played, that I, I laid out here in this video. Hey, I appreciate you watching. Giving me your time and respect and love. If you don't mind, uh, uh, subscribe to the channel. Give me a like and maybe make a comment. I'd be wonderful making this YouTube channel grow as much as I can. Because my goal here is to be informative. I've got a lot of knowledge. got a lot of connections. And my goal here, if you look at my channel, you're going to see what I do. Is I, my goal is to share the wealth. The wealth of knowledge. I don't have any money, but to share the wealth of knowledge. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time. Hunter, a fish will see you on the water.